energy this week, we are going to start talking about kinetic and potential energy, which is kind of tricky to understand at first, but once you get it, it's not too bad. So we know we've learned that energy is the ability to do work. We can't make more energy. We can't get rid of energy. Energy can't be created. It can't be destroyed, but it can be transferred between things. So that's kind of how we're gonna talk about energy transfer when we talk about potential and kinetic energy, and we'll talk about it a lot more in the coming weeks. So energy is in two categories. It's either potential or kinetic. Potential energy, the biggest thing is that it's stored. It's holding all that energy up. So it's got the potential and it could do work, but it's not yet moving. Kinetic energy is our energy that is doing work. Right now it's working, it is moving. So if you've ever been on a roller coaster, you know that there's ups and downs. So when you're at the very top, think about if you're going, on a really big roller coaster and you're all the way at the top and your car's just sitting there. And that's kind of the worst, don't you think, when it's just sitting and you know the drop's coming but you don't really know when. So you're at the highest point and you're just sitting still. So we're not moving, so we don't have kinetic energy, but our roller coaster car is full of potential energy. Lots of energy that could do work. And the higher you get, the more potential energy you have. So on this roller coaster, this is the highest spot. This is the maximum amount of potential energy. It's not gonna get any more than that because we don't get any higher than that. So when we're stopped, and think about, think about if you're in baseball, it's kind of the same way. If you're a pitcher or you're getting ready to throw and you've got your arm back but you haven't thrown yet, you've got the most potential energy. So then when we start moving, that energy's transferred and we've got lots of kinetic energy because we've got all that energy from being up top coming down. It goes into kinetic energy. But then if we come up another bump, you might not even feel the stop, but you stop for a second on the top. And you've got potential energy again because we're not moving. And then we go down and it turns into kinetic energy. So potential energy is stored energy that is not moving. Kinetic energy is energy that is in motion. Active, actively moving energy. When we stop, and remember, like we said here, you might not even, you might not even realize you're stopping. Think about how fast it happens. If you're shooting basketball and that basketball kind of hangs out on the rim for not even a half a second, that's still potential energy. So when you do your sort this week, some of those are tricky. So think back to right here. I'm stopped and I don't even know it. That's going to help you with some of them.